We are on day number 11, session number one. We're going to read Genesis chapter 25 and chapter 26. Genesis 25 outline, the sons of Abraham by Keterah, the division of his goods, his age, death, and burial. God blesses Isaac, the generations of Ishmael, his age and death. Isaac prays for Rebekah being barren, the children strive in her womb, the birth of Esau and Jacob, their different characters and pursuits. Esau sells his birthright. Genesis 25 verse 1. Then again Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keterah. And she bare him Zimran, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And Jokshan begot Sheba, and Dedan, and the sons of Dedan were Ashuram, and Ledashim, and Leamim, and the sons of Midian, Ephah, and Epher, and Hanak, and Abida, and Eldeah, and all these were the children of Keterah. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac, but unto the sons of the concubines which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts and sent them away from Isaac his son while he yet lived eastward unto the east country. And these are the days of the years of Abraham's life which he lived, an hundred threescore and fifteen years. Then Abraham gave up the ghost and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and was gathered to his people. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite, which is before Mamre. The field which Abraham purchased to the sons of Heth, there was Abraham buried and Sarah his wife. And it came to pass after the death of Abraham that God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac dwelt by the well, Lahiroi. Now these are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, bare unto Abraham. And these are the names of the sons of Ishmael, by their names, according to their generations, the firstborn of Ishmael, Nebajoth, and Kedar, and Adbil, and Mibsam, and Mishma, and Duma, and Masa, Hadar, and Tima, Jitur, Nephish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names by their towns, and by their castles, twelve princes according to their nations. And these are the years of the life of Ishmael, and hundred and thirty and seven years. And he gave up the ghost and died, and was gathered unto his people. And they dwelt from Havilah unto Shur, that is before Egypt, as thou goest toward Assyria, and he died in the presence of all his brethren. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac was forty years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel the Syrian, of Padanaram, the sister to Laban the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife, because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elders shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over, like in hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob, and Isaac was threescore years old when she bare them. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob sawed pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat 
and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Genesis 25 outline. The sons of Abraham by Ketera, the division of his goods, his age, death, and burial. God blesses Isaac. The generations of Ishmael, his age and death. Isaac prays for Rebekah, being barren. The children strive in her womb. The birth of Esau and Jacob, their different characters and pursuits. Esau sells his birthright. Genesis 26 outline. Isaac, because of famine, sojourns in Gerar, and the Lord instructs and blesses him. He is reproved by Abimelech for denying his wife. He grows rich, and the Philistines envy his prosperity. He digs Essek, Sitna, and Rehoboth. God appears to him at Beersheba and blesses him, and Abimelech makes a covenant with him, Esau's wives. Genesis 26, verse 1, And there was a famine in the land, beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gerar. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Sojourn in this land, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee. For unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and will give unto thy seed all these countries, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice, and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. And Isaac dwelt in Gerar. And the men of the place asked him of his wife, and he said, She is my sister, for he feared to say, She is my wife, lest, said he, the men of the place should kill me for Rebekah, because she was fair to look upon. And it came to pass, when he had been there a long time, that Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked out at a window and saw, and behold, Isaac was sporting with Rebekah, his wife. And Abimelech called Isaac and said, Behold, of a surety, she is thy wife, and how saidst thou, she is my sister? And Isaac said unto him, Because I said, Lest I die for her. And Abimelech said, What is this? Thou hast done unto us, one of the people might lightly have lying with thy wife, and thou shouldest have brought guiltiness upon us. And Abimelech charged all his people, saying, He that toucheth this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. For he had possession of flocks and possession of herds and great store of servants, and the Philistines envied him. For all the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of Abraham his father, the Philistines had stopped them and filled them with earth. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. And Isaac departed thence and pitched his tent in the valley of Gerar and dwelt there. And Isaac digged again the wells of water which they had digged in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham, and he called their names after the names by which his father had called them. And Isaac's servants digged in the valley and found there a well of springing water. And the herdmen of Gerar did strive with Isaac's herdmen, saying, The water is ours. And he called the name of the well Esek, because they strove with him. And they digged another well, and strove for that also, and he called the name of it Sitna. And he removed from thence, and digged another well, and for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth, and he said, For now the Lord hath made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. And he went up from thence to Beersheba, and the Lord appeared unto him the same night, and said, I am the God of Abraham thy father, fear not, for I am with thee, and will bless thee, and multiply thy seed for my servant Abraham's sake. And he built an altar there, and called upon the name of the Lord, and pitched his tent there, and there Isaac's servants digged a well. Then Abimelech went to him from Gerar, and Ahuzath one of his friends, and Phicol the chief captain of his army. And Isaac said unto them, Wherefore come ye to me, seeing ye hate me, and have sent me away from you? And they said, We saw certainly that the Lord was with thee, and we said, Let there be now an oath betwixt us, even betwixt us and thee, and let us make a covenant with thee, that thou wilt do us no hurt, as we have not touched thee, and as we have done 
unto thee nothing but good, and have sent thee away in peace. Thou art now the blessed of the Lord. And he made them a feast, and they did eat and drink. And they rose up betimes in the morning, and swear one to another. And Isaac sent them away, and they departed from him in peace. And it came to pass the same day that Isaac's servants came and told him concerning the well which they had digged, and said unto him, We have found water. And he called it Sheba, therefore the name of the city is Beersheba unto this day. And Esau was forty years old when he took to wife Judith, the daughter of Beri the Hittite, and Bashamath, the daughter of Elon the Hittite, which were a grief of mine unto Isaac and to Rebekah. Genesis 26 outline. Isaac, because of famine, sojourns in Gerar, and the Lord instructs and blesses him. He is reproved by Abimelech for denying his wife. He grows rich, and the Philistines envy his prosperity. He digs Essek, Sitna, and Rehoboth. God appears to him at Beersheba and blesses him, and Abimelech makes a covenant with him, Esau's wives. So that concludes day number 11, session number 1. That was Genesis chapter 25 and Genesis chapter 26. Thank you for your time. Thank you for reading with me. You have a great day. God bless you.